not bad up here, up at the top of the world. Hiking shoes. Ding! Clouds are incredible. Nice one! I'm coming down too! Oh! Whoa! Oh, I've almost fell. Oh, now I'm going backwards. Hey, how's it going, buds? I got some results for you. Not a lot, but some. Uh, what we're interested in right now is what's in pond scum. There's sources online that say that pond scum is a hydrocarbon and it is produced by microbes under the water. Uh, that's in line with our current hypothesis. Some of you buds have said that the pond scum is made from oils and waxes that get released from the plant as it rotted. And that's definitely a good theory. I was wondering, I think it might be the phospholipids of the plant cells. And so I subjected it to phosphorus reagent number three test. If there was any amount of phosphate in the liquid, it would have turned bright blue, uh, but it didn't. And that's a good sign. There's no phospholipids. I tried the iodoform test on it put iodine and sodium hydroxide in a container with the pond scum and the water. We saw a yellow precipitate form. That's a clear sign that it has alcohols in it. Just some carbon to oxygen hydrogen bond in that order, somewhere in the carbon chain. It doesn't really mean anything though. It just means that there's oxygen somewhere in there and there could be thousands of different compounds in there. Other tests like the bromine test confirm that there are double bonds between the carbon atoms somewhere in there, but that doesn't tell us anything either. Uh, so what we need next is a mass spectrometer, and we don't have access to one of those. We'd be looking for a compound with a mass of 114. If we had a mass spectrometer, we could see the masses of each individual molecule in there. Now, I've been traveling a lot, and I've seen a lot of other pond scum around, and I've been thinking, I might as well just start collecting pond scum. So I've got a great pond scum collection started. It doesn't matter where I go or what I do, I will always be looking for pond scum. And if the time ever comes when we have a mass spectrometer and we can analyze all of the samples all at once, great. If not, that's fine. Oh, and I put some of the microbes in a jar and put it with grass clippings and I was hoping we would see a nice thick layer of hydrocarbons or other nonpolar floating substance on the top, but we have nothing there. And I don't know what happened, but there's nothing really for us to analyze there. So at this point in time, we've done as much as we can with the resources we have. For now, we're just gonna travel and have a lot of fun. Was that? There's a lot of things in this river, but we're gonna turn back now. But I just noticed, look at this. Look at this water. It has a little bit of that blue color to it. Look at that. So I'm gonna harvest a little bit of this pond scum it looks like the the plastic is repelling it a little bit samples got a lot of good ones and I don't know if they're really gonna help with anything or not but it's just a fun experiment and this was just a good trip in general and I'm gonna keep these in the fridge so they don't biodegrade and I hope you buds enjoyed I'll talk to you later bye for now